What's up guys, GameRager95 here and welcome to episode 3 of Around the World, the series where I build the highest rated team possible from every league in the game. And uh, you'll notice here that we've actually bought three new players. So we've got now two defensive mids and a striker. Our attack and our midfield is complete. And those two defensive mids are Bruno and uh, Marcos Senna. Uh, Marco Senna is not the fastest, but he is incredible. He's seriously one of my favorite players I've ever used on Ultimate Team. And it's really weird for me to say that, but I did enjoy playing with him a lot. I think he's such a, a great uh, player in this game. And he's so underrated and underpriced, it's incredible. And then you've also got the striker, Giuseppe Rossi. Uh, Giuseppe Rossi is a fantastic striker. Four-star skills, 78 pace or something like that, and good shooting. And he's also decent at headering, but... I'm not actually going to talk about the uh, gameplay too much in this episode. I'm sort of just going to, I guess, riff it and see where this conversation goes. It's sort of going to be like one of Nepenthes' Runa randomers, but a lot shorter and a lot less focused. Um, but what I wanted to talk about, I guess, uh, is like what got me into doing YouTube in the first place. And to be honest, it was it happened, I guess, last summer I decided I wanted to do YouTubing and FIFA and things like that because I enjoyed playing FIFA so much and I wanted to have a reason to continue playing it because there, there came a point in the summer where I just said this isn't really getting much better than it was before I was sort of doing stuff for no reason I, I had an incredible squad and an incredible club in uh, Ultimate Team which I spent a lot of money on and because I got so bored because I had no reason to continue using that squad I, I deleted the account and I had people like Team of the Year Kagawa from last year and a few other players. So it it was, I mean, it shows how bored I got. And th that's the reason I wanted to do YouTube was because I now had a reason to be uploading regularly, to be playing FIFA and to be doing things like that. And that's that's what really got me into the YouTube stuff. So I got my capture card, uh, which wasn't the best capture card. I can't remember what it was. I think it was the Roxio, yeah, Roxio game capture, and it wasn't HD. It had no HD settings. You couldn't. It it really up wasn't that great. And what was weird is that my first two uploads are my most popular, even though I've now gone to the HD stuff. So my first two uploads were the uh, Formation Finder videos, which were Man City and Arsenal, I believe. And I actually planned on continuing with that, but. I ended up choosing uh, not to because the game had come out by the time I wanted to upload my Dortmund one, and it, it you know it seems now that I should probably have uh, been doing that a bit more because that was quite a successful series. It got few, quite a few likes, quite a few views, and everything was going well back then. And then my view count started to go down after I started recording like uh, my career mode stuff, and I did a squad builder initially, which wasn't the best received squad builder, but it was still fun for me to do. And eventually I just, I got into uh, uploading and I started doing Atletico Madrid career mode, which was a really good series, a really fun series. But I, I basically, towards the end of it, I got the uh, Elgato game capture device and I started recording with the Elgato. And I realized that I could do a lot better stuff than just a simple career mode. I kept that career mode. I've still got it on my uh, PlayStation on my other account. But I haven't, I haven't played it in a while, and I think I got up to maybe 2017, which is quite a long time in, and I've got a lot of good players. So if you want me to like show you guys where I've gone to, do let me know. But after that, I really got into Ultimate Team in from January onwards. One of the mistakes I made was before January, I had a lot of coins on Ultimate Team, and then Team of the Year came out, and I fell for it. Uh, I bought, I planned on doing a. Um, a what do you call them pack opening and the issue that I had was that I got nothing I lost about 300,000 coins on the pack opening and it didn't really work out particularly great I think the best player I got was Higuain so it was pretty disappointing that and I decided I wasn't gonna upload it and I was gonna start a new account with which I could start fresh because I think that's that was the biggest fun the most fun part for me is when you're starting right at the beginning of ultimate team and when you're just getting into that like vibe of building a, a really overpowered squad as cheaply as you can. And I, I, I don't know why, but it's really weird. But having maybe 300,000 coins didn't suit me. 
but I built this Ultimate Team account, and again, as you saw, I stopped uploading at about 13 episodes, uh, even though I had about 40 episodes on standby to with which I could edit and uh, upload and voiceover and things like that. But the reason I got bored was because I got about 300,000 coins again, and I just stopped playing. I moved them to a different account, and I deleted that club, and I started this. And this is where I had, I think, the most fun with this new series because I've I've maybe recorded about 20 episodes of this so far and I've edited most of them so I'm just sort of going to be uploading them as time passes if you guys are enjoying them obviously but one thing that interested me about this series is that it was it was a reasonably original idea I mean I, I wouldn't have thought of it initially but it's a lot of fun trying out these new leagues I would have never originally thought of and that's that's for me where the fun comes. I'm not sure what I'm going to do after I build all these squads. Or after I build all these squads, sorry. But when I do build them, um, we'll see where it goes from there. You guys will let me know what you want me to do. And I think the most important thing on YouTube is to keep your fans' opinions uh, right, right next to you. Make sure that you follow what your fans want you to do. Because you guys are the ones who are watching the videos. And you guys are the ones who will judge me for it. And for how I upload. So... Uh, in in the end, I guess, it's down to what you guys want me to do. If you guys want me to continue building the highest rated team possible, I'll keep doing that. If you want me to build the best team uh, or the funnest team to play with, I'll do that instead. And as I said, yeah, it's all down to you guys. So do let me know in the comments below what you want me to do, how you want me to build on this series, and make sure that you share this with all your friends because your friends might enjoy it. They might want to see someone doing something a bit different, I guess. Even though there are so many YouTubers, I guess I'm 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 hopeful that you guys will enjoy watching me uh, try and go through this series with people like Melberg and Senna, who I would never use because of their pace. Uh, but I have to because that's how this series works. Unfor uh, well, I guess fortunately because those two are amazing for me. But yeah, do let me know in the comments who you want me to buy, how you want me to play this. And I guess that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for listening, guys. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this. And in the next episode, we should have a, f a complete squad very soon, I guess. Either next episode or the episode after. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys really soon. And peace out. Bye-bye.